hello friends. This is Veronica from House of Sid. And you know what time it is. It's cafecito time. And welcome to our channel, House of Sid, where I make videos on coffee reviews, coffee recipes, coffee adventures, and all things from the wonderful world of coffee. Today, I have a little bit different video for you. I won't be using my machines, but I do want to share with you some of my top favorite Nespresso capsules for the virtual machine. I've had a lot of people ask me about choosing coffee, what are my favorites, which ones do I recommend. So I thought I would make a video today showing you the ones that I seem to be buying the most, the ones that I have liked um, after having my machine for about nine, almost 10 months. These are the ones that I have been buying the most. And um, enjoying and uh, yeah I just wanted to share with you guys to help you make a decision if you're new to Nespresso you're not sure what capsules to buy you're not sure which flavors are going to be the, the better ones or good ones or just how to choose capsules so let's get started patient so one of my very favorites that I do highly recommend everyone try and I know for a fact this comes in your sample pack when you buy your Nespresso machine virtual machine is the Bianco Leggero and I don't know if I'm pronoun pronouncing this right I know there's been some debate on how to say this how to pronounce it so if I'm not saying it right don't come don't come for me in the comments okay there's bigger things to worry about than if I pronounce it right or wrong but anyways Bianco Leggero is basically a barista creation. And the barista creations are coffees that are made to be enjoyed with milk, with creamer, with uh, flavors, and just to make those very uh, delicious, fancy coffee shop coffee, coffee shop type coffees at home. Um, so this is for sweet and smooth recipes with milk. They recommend using it with milk. Um, it says, inspired by the baristas of Brooklyn who love the natural sweetness of coffee and try to preserve it. To achieve this, we chose Arabicas from Indonesia and Kenya and applied uniquely light roast. So this is a lighter roast coffee. It's not very super strong. The aromatic profile is smooth, sweet, caramel, and biscuit notes. And these do not contain milk in any way, shape, or form. They're made for you to mix with milk. So these are good to uh, make cappuccinos. These are good to make lattes, macchiatos, any of those very milky type drink, coffee drinks. This is really good for that. And I really enjoy this one. Mm. It's not a bitter coffee. It has a very smooth taste. A creamy, very creamy texture for sure. Um, this one is a 2.7 fluid ounces, which makes it like a double espresso shot. Um, and I actually have come to find that I enjoy the double espressos more. So I don't even buy the single espressos for the virtual machine anymore. I think the double espresso shot is like the perfect amount for a cappuccino, for a latte, for any of those fun drinks. So this is definitely my favorite. Um, and this one is $10 per sleeve, per box, and makes it a dollar a capsule, which I think is very reasonable because if you go to Starbucks, like I used to go all the time, and buy a caramel macchiato, a grande is like four something. So if I could recreate that drink at home, with a dollar capsule versus four plus dollars. Um, I think I'm waiting over here. Um, so this one is very, very good. I really highly recommend it. And just also note that all of the coffees I'm sharing are part of the permanent virtual coffee collection because they do have limited editions and special seasonal flavors. I'm not talking about those in this video because some of those are either already sold out or the season has passed, so they're no longer available. So all of these coffees are ones that you should be able to go to the Nespresso website and order them or go to the Nespresso boutique and buy them. Highly, highly recommend the Bianco Leggero um, 
double shot. And this is also good if you just want to drink it by itself, add a little bit of creamer. It tastes delicious. But definitely if you are a fan of cappuccinos, lattes, macchiatos, all those um, fancy type drinks, buy this one, get it, recommend it. Even just the capsule, look at how pretty it is. It's kind of like ombre um, gradient color from light to dark. It just looks very pretty, very fancy, very delicious. So this is probably one of my number one capsules. Um, the next one, and I'm kind of going from like light to dark just so you guys get an idea. Um, one of the other ones that I tried very early on was the Solileo. And this one, give me a second here. So, this one is a 7.77 ounce size, which is like a regular full cup of coffee. Come on. Okay. Solileo is this beautiful yellow, bright, pearly yellow capsule. Um, and this is a intensity two. Yes, I know that is very, very light. In fact, this is the lightest coffee that Nespresso makes, uh, Intensity 2. It's very light, but I like it. Um, it is a fruity and light-bodied coffee. The aromatic notes are citric and cereal. Um, this one reminds me a lot of the Blonde Veranda coffee from Starbucks. Although it is a light blend, um, it has a good punch of um, caffeine because if you didn't know, light roast coffees actually have more caffeine than dark roast coffees. I know, mind blowing because you think dark bold coffees should have more caffeine because they're so strong. No, that's not how, that's not how the coffee world works apparently. So um, this coffee, like I said, it's pretty light. It's actually a very good coffee if you like a light coffee and you just want something that's mellow, mild, smooth. Um, it's really good. I didn't think I was going to like it. I thought it was too light. But Mr. Cafecito, the man of the house, this is one of his favorites. And I just think it's a really good coffee. It's just one of those coffees that you could drink every day. Um, you don't want anything fancy. You don't want a cappuccino. You just want a light cup of coffee to get you through the day. This one's really, really good. Um, oh, it's well, yes, a very well balanced light roast um, with milk, the fruity notes, shade to unfold, and astonishing creamy caramel indulgence. It does have like a caramelly, creamy when you add the milk, it's just a really good cup. I think a lot of people maybe dismiss it because they say, oh, it's only a, a two on the intensity level. But don't be fooled by the intensity levels. A lot of people think it means caffeine. It does not. The intensity levels for an espresso have nothing to do with the caffeine content. So just be aware of that. So I recommend Solileo. If you don't like super strong, bold, dark coffees, this one's actually really good. I recommend it. Okay. The next one I'm going to recommend is this one. This one is part of the Master Origins Collection, Nespresso exclusive, um, and it is the Colombia. And it has the name on there, Colombia. I don't know if you can really see it there. It's kind of like the same monotone color um so basically these are part of the master origins so it is a uh, coffee from colombia if you're not familiar with coffee there's like um a few major regions in the world where coffee is grown and uh apparently you can't grow coffee just anywhere in the world there's certain climates that are better for coffee Growing in Colombia is actually one of the places that has really good climate, really good um, altitude. It's just a very good environment for coffee growing. So that's why we get really good coffee from that area. Um, Master Origin Colombia Washed Arabica showcases the farmer's skills in tweaking the classic wash process to accommodate the exceptionally 
high altitudes. So this comes from high altitudes, mountains, um, at which their fair trade Arabica grows. It is an intensity five. So it's like a good, really good medium coffee. It is a 7.77 ounce mug. Um, it's just one of those coffees that when you drink it, you're like, whoa, this is like a good coffee. It kind of makes you stop and not just, you know how sometimes you're working or you're doing something, drinking your coffee and you're kind of like mindlessly drinking it. This is one of the coffees that makes you stop and really think about your coffee, really think about what you're drinking because it's just really good medium coffee. It's not very bitter. It's not, um, it's just very, how can I say this? I almost want to say it's kind of like a perfect cup of coffee, not too bitter. It's not too light. It's not too strong. It's not too bold. It just has like that really perfect balanced coffee flavor and taste. I, I really don't know how else to explain it. It's just really, really good. And it's actually very popular because, again, this is part of the permanent um, coffee um, selections from virtual, but currently it is out of stock because this coffee is very popular and also because it is a master origin. Okay. Another one of my favorite coffees is from the mass. You know what? I'm enjoying the Master Origins. The Master Origin coffees have been surprisingly good. And these are just coffees that are from a single region. They're not blends of coffee, which a lot of people call them uh, single origin coffees. This one is Mexico. Okay, let me tell you, you know, being of Mexican descent, I was like, ooh, I got to try um coffee from the motherland from mexico i was very excited to see this coffee it's a beautiful green capsule it has the name of mexico on there i was just happy excited about it when i saw it ordered ordered this coffee and when i got it and i tried it i didn't like it i was actually kind of like oh this is not good um, and not that it wasn't good. It was just a flavor that I had never really tasted before. It was just a very different coffee taste for me. As I did more research, as I learned about it, um, this is a intensity seven coffee, which is not super intense and strong, but a little bit, you know, we're getting up there in the number sevens. And as I was reading about this, it is um, the aromatic profile is intense and spice. It is a little intense. Aromatic notes are woody and spicy. Okay. But then as I read more about it, it is made with, um, you'll do a double, double take with Master Origins Mexico with double wash Robusta. Okay. Robusta is a coffee that is, um, actually has like a stronger flavor, although it's considered cheaper. It is, um, says Arabica is blended with the Robusta, so it is mixed, but the Robusta just has a very different, unique flavor that a lot of people maybe in um, North America aren't used to. I know in some Asian countries, Robusta is like the only kind of coffee we will drink. Um, I wasn't used to it and I didn't really care for it. But then, um, as I mentioned before, I'm in the Nespresso Facebook group and I'll leave the link if you want to join. You guys got to join and you guys will learn so much about all of this stuff. A lot of people were saying, oh, you need to try it with this. You need to try it with that. And one of the suggestions was um, to try the Mexico coffee with either brown sugar or um, condensed milk, which I love condensed milk. <sighs> Let me tell you guys, that was the world of difference. As soon as I made the coffee with some froth milk, I added a little bit of brown sugar um, and some froth milk and half and half. Oh my God, it is like delicious. I made a Tres Leches coffee, which if you're not familiar with, um, is a popular cake in a lot of Latin American countries. They use three different types of milk to soak the cake. Um, and I made a three, I used condensed milk, evaporated milk, and 
regular whole milk or half and half. You just blend all of these milks together. You make your coffee. It is like so good. It was a very delicious. Um, and I think I just, the more I started drinking this coffee, the more I started to enjoy it. I started to see the different notes, the different flavor profiles. It's just become one of my favorites, especially when I want to have a special treat. I'll make my Tres Leches coffee, which if you guys want me to show you how to make it, leave me a comment and I'll make a video. I've been wanting to make a video of that recipe. It's just, there's just so many coffees, you know, in so little time. But yeah, this is really, really good. So if you're looking for something different, unique, that you've never tried, I recommend the Mexico capsule. You might not love it in the beginning, but don't give up on it. Definitely some of these coffees you need to taste and drink more than once. Um, find different ways to try them if you enjoy them. Um, a little bit sweet, a little bit more milky. It's just one of my favorites and I keep ordering it and I keep buying it. This one is, so this one's a little bit more expensive, a little pricier. This one is $12 a box of 10, so $1.20, but I think it's totally worth it. Um, you should definitely give it a try. Okay, so next one and last one is, um, Intenso. This coffee, um, when I first heard of it and saw it, I was actually a little intimidated because I'll tell you why right now. Of all the coffee, 7.7 .7 ounces, this is the highest intensity of nine. And like I said, don't be um, don't be scared by the intensity number. Some of them sound really low. You might think it's too light. Some of them sound too high. You might think it's too dark, but really give them a try. So this is Intenso. The name is Intenso, a uh, beautiful brown, dark brown capsule. Um, intensity nine, dense and deep. Very dense, very deep, very dark, but surprisingly very, very smooth. When I tried this, I was like, oh, this coffee's good. Even though I could smell that it's a dark roast, a dark coffee, um, I could taste that it's bold and strong. It definitely gives you a punch. But you know what, guys? It is so smooth. It is not bitter at all. It says unexpected, thick, and dense coffee. Uh, Intenso blend stands out thanks to its lingering aftertaste. Brown sugar and strongly toasted notes bring a singular signature to this dark roasted coffee made of Guatemalan Robusta. Again, Robusta. So maybe once I had the Mexico, I did have the Mexico before I had the Intensa. So maybe the Mexico kind of prepared me to like the Robusta. I don't know. Guys, if you are the type of person that enjoys a good, strong cup of coffee, and if you're like the OG uh, coffee drinker, no cream, no sugar, just black coffee, then you should really, really check this out. Intenso. It is one of the few coffees that I, I can actually say I am able to drink black if I needed to or if I wanted to. Typically, I'm not the black coffee type of person. I really do enjoy my creams and milks. Um, not too much sugary, but half and half creamer in my coffee. I like my frothy uh, um, cappuccinos and lattes with my Bianco Leggero, but every now and again, I just want a good black cup of coffee. This is definitely the capsule that I would reach for in Tenso. Dark, bold, strong, but again, smooth. It doesn't even like, I don't know, it doesn't it's not one of those coffees that punches you in the face and just kind of like slaps you a little bit. It kind of like taps you and you're like, oh, okay, this is, this is going to wake me up. This is going to get me going. It's not one of those punch in the face coffees because some of those really bold, strong punch you in the face coffees, I can't really drink too much of them. Um, I drink a couple sips. I'm like, okay, that's it. That is like way I get a head rush. It's just too... Maybe it's the acid. I don't know what it is, but I just really cannot drink those. But this one, this one is very smooth, uh, very 
like deep and it's just very good. So black coffee drinkers, check this one out, Intenso. That's it, you guys. These are the ones that I've been loving, that I've been ordering, that I think is a good combination. Um, I mainly stick to the coffee, the 7.7 .7 ounce coffee um, sizes because I just enjoy a larger cup of coffee. When I, when I want um, special fancy type coffee, I do go with the Leggero or um, I don't really order the single... Um, espresso anymore for the virtuo some of the grand lungos i like but this seems to be kind of like the staple coffees that i think work the best for me so <clears throat> if you're new to an espresso if you're not sure what kind of coffees you would like or what to order definitely go on the website their website has a lot of good information um, and if you are just used to one type of coffee, you know, if you switch from another coffee maker to the Nespresso, the coffees are going to be significantly different. But I think you definitely have a lot of choices to find something you love. Uh, but just try them. You know, don't be don't be afraid to try them. Don't be afraid to mix different milks and creamers and try them. Um, experiment don't be afraid to I know in the beginning it like hurt my heart if I made a coffee and I felt like I wasted a capsule because you know a dollar dollar twenty dollar ten some of them um, you're thinking oh my god these are not cheap so I'm wasting a capsule but really don't feel that way because that's how you're gonna learn if you are holding on to capsules that you don't want to drink them because of the price then it's really not worth it for you to have this machine because that's the whole point of having an espresso machine is learning about better quality coffee, learning about different regions where they grow coffee and finding out what you like best. You might be surprised. I was very surprised that the Mexico is now one of my favorites. Like I said, the very first time I tried it out, I was like, oh no no, 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 this is not good. I just wasted $12 on this box. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. But again, I went into the group. I started reading more, researching more, and I gave it a second chance. So always give it a second chance. Don't, you know, automatically dismiss it. You know, it, there is going to be some that you just don't like after one or two, three times tasting it, but you gave it a chance. You know for sure that coffee is not for you. Um, yeah, so I hope this video is helpful. I hope it was informative. If you guys like this video, you know what to do. Thumbs up. Helps our videos, um, our channel grow. Helps our videos get out there so other people see them. And if you know somebody that loves coffee, please share our videos with your friends, with your family. It's really helpful if you want to, you know, help out in any way. Sharing our videos leaving thumbs up and definitely leave a comment and most of all subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet go down there the little subscribe button hit the button then hit the little bell so you get notified when our videos are coming out um, as of right now Wednesdays and Sundays are my upload days if you guys have any ideas of videos you would like me to make something you would want me to review or share with you guys, leave me a comment. I'm open to suggestions. I love hearing from you guys. I love reading your comments and I appreciate everyone's um, taking the time to watch our videos. And um, yeah, you know, from one coffee lover to another, thank you, thank you very much. I appreciate it very, very much. But yeah, that's it. So that's it. Now I'm going to go make my coffee and uh, decide which one do I want. A tough choice sometimes having too many choices is not the best but i've kind of narrowed it down to my top favorite so that's it thanks guys for watching um and we'll see you guys next week bye